been uh, brought to my attention, well, by one of us, that there is a, a fake news spreading on the social media that the DSS has surrounded the National Assembly to stop possible impeachment of principal officers. <laughs> so, so I, I, there is no limit to social media. <laughs> and we are here sitting down and doing our work very peacefully, oblivious of the mischief that is going on behind us. So let us, uh, uh, which committee do we refer this fake news to? <laughs> uh, 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 Senator Yadwa, do we refer it to the committee of the army? <laughs> Interior is large enough to investigate anything. But this, I think we should, we should refer it to the Committee on Police Affairs. <laughs> eh? Police Affairs, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, Senator Kaka, the fake news is hereby referred to the Committee on Special Duties. <laughs> to, as the, as the to, Senate President to, Polices. Yes, to report the back to the Senate back. in 24 hours. Yes, sir, I will report back, sir. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a part of what we pass through on a daily basis. You see that they use AI to inject something to make to turn it around in order to drive traffic. I understand that uh, they are being paid by YouTube if they have a lot of traffic. So whoever brought out this fake news must be getting a lot of payment because of the traffic going on. But I hope the public is aware that this is total fake news and that uh, the chamber is very stable and the issue of impeachment does not come in. So, uh, Kaka, please investigate and refer, report back to us as soon as practicable. As the Senate President pleases, I will right. do the needful and report back, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. I represent the people of Kogi West. I hereby move that a bill for an, for an act to provide for establishment of Federal University of Medicine and Medical Science at Kogi State and to make comprehensive provision for EDU management and administration for other related matters 2024 be read for the second time. Mr. President, my colleagues, before taking you through the rigor of reading my notes, let me give you an important information, sir, that this bill was moved for the first, second, third time, went through the rigor of uh, public hearing and passed in the last assembly. But because of our process, I still have to do this. So I graciously ask you that you consider passing this bill for speedy. Yeah, thank you, sir. Mr. President, my colleague, permit me to lead the debate of this very important bill for the establishment of Federal University of Medicine and Medical Science at Benkogi State. The bill was read for the first time in this Alu Chamber on Tuesday, 12 December 2023. Mr. President, distinguished, distinguished colleague, this bill seeks to establish the Federal University of Medicine and medical sciences at Bekogi State and make comprehensive provision for due management and administration. The establishment of this institution is informed by the imperative to create more access to higher ed and medical studies in view of the large number of qualified candidates who are annually stranded in their failed attempt in gaining admission into higher institution in the state. The objects of the university shall be to encourage the advancement of learning and to hold all persons without distinctions of race, creed, sex, or political conviction the opportunity of acquiring a higher education in, medical, in medicine and other sciences. 
develop and offer academic and professional program leading to the award of diploma, first degree, postgraduate research, and higher degrees with emphasis on planning, adaptive, technical maintenance, developmental, and productive skills in the field of medicine. Act as agent and catalyst through postgraduate training, research, innovation for effective and economic utilization, exploitation, and cons conservation of Nigerian natural, economic, and human resources. Offer to the general public as a form of public service, results of training and research in medicine, and other discipline, and to foster the practical application of those results. Mr. President, my colleagues, the health sector has a very high potential and require high-level medical, scientific, and administrative skills to drive it. The establishment of this university will go a long way into achieving this target. Mr. President, esteemed colleagues, this bill is well organized for its own purpose of modern academic and research institution. The objective of the university as articulated above as supportive of its mission and broad vision of modern institutions that will develop world-class medi medical personnel that can sustainably manage our nation health sector by providing medical expertise at high level. The university is therefore to further advance knowledge through research and nurture unique innovation and health management at its core area of interest. The President, distinguished colleague, the enamel of this bill will help in transforming the health and educational fortunes in Nigeria in producing the same medical manpower and expertise that Nigeria is yearning for. Mr. President, distinguished colleague, let me stress the fact that the location of the university at, in Egbe, an ancient and historic town, is instructive. What mean, this means is that the place has a clear crying need for federal government presence. And the university will be one, will be one way to restoring and strengthening the citizen's sense of belonging to this nation and sending to this is the only stone without an institution of higher education. Mr. President, my, my colleagues, it may interest you to know that the Kogi State Government is ready to part with over 1,000 acre, acres of land with structure ready at a hospital est established by the missionaries in 1951. Mr. President, my colleague, in line with Order 763 of our standing rules, the financial compendium is hereby attached. I urge you to, su to support this bill for second reading. Thank you. The civil senator, Anthony Ani. President Ebony South. I stand to support this bill that is well crafted and well presented. Uh, the ob objectives for establishing this university are well laid out. In as much as um, it's good to have uh, universities in various parts of this country, because of the population that requires so many educational institutions. I only have two concerns. However, the two concerns do not in any way negate the importance of this bill. One of the concerns is that um, One of the concerns I'm raising is that um, most of these specialized universities at the moment do not have specialists. We are talking of uh, University of Medicine and Medical Sciences. The, the required specialists in some of these fields 
are not yet there. You can agree with me that it takes a while for institutions, for universities to produce uh, required academic strengths to take up some of these specialized universities. For instance, it takes an average of 20 years of continuous progression to make a professor. And most of these uh, specialized uh, disciplines, like medicine, require that for it to go the way it should go, having the standards required, the, the handlers of such courses should be, should be specialized. That is one of the concerns. The other concern is the infrastructure. If you take a look at, if you take statistics of some of these um, our institutions, universities inclusive, you find out that most of the infrastructure requirements are not there. So that when we are making such bills, this bill, this type of bills, such should concern us. Having said that, it is necessary we have specialized universities in various fields in different locations of this country. If we do that, it will go a long way in our socioeconomic development. Mr. President, dear colleagues, I shall submit. Do we say Senator Ale? Uh, Mohammed Adam Ale, you made my name. Mr. So President, I rise to support the second reading of this bill because there is death of manpower in the medical sector, and the only way we can overcome it is by continuous training for medical personnel. Even though some of the medical personnel trained here in Nigeria find their way to Middle East, Europe, and America, uh, it should not discourage us. We should continue to train them and train them. And again, by the time um, we have enough going out, they will be forced to remain in the country and take care of uh, uh, health care delivery. Uh, this is a university like no other, in the sense that it is a professional university. It requires um, doctors. It requires experts in medicine and medical sciences. And I agree with what my colleagues mentioned earlier. But that should not discourage us in going forward to approve this uh, bill for second reading. Um, when we go to public hearing, the details of how it will be set up will be discussed. Uh, that's why we have the university, the, what do you call it, NUC, Nigerian uh, University Commission. It is their responsibility to ensure that every course uh, the university is offering is properly accredited. To have uh, enough lecturers, facilities are provided so that uh, uh, courses uh, that are run by the university are properly recognized all over the world. Mr. President, uh, Nigeria has doctor to, what do you call it, to personnel ratio of maybe one, one doctor to about 200,000 people. And ideally, based on United Nations standard, it shouldn't be more than um, 200 persons to one doctor. Here we have over 200,000 people to one doctor. And the only way we can reverse this trend is by continuous training of doctors. And for this reason, I support the second reading of this bill, and I urge my colleagues to do the same. Thank you. The Senate, very distinguished colleagues. Uh, I am Issa Jibrin, representing the very good people of Kogi East. Your Excellency, I rise to second, uh, to support 
the second reading of this very important bill. As was mentioned during the presentation, this bill is not new. It was presented during the ninth Senate and unfortunately could not see the light of the day. We still believe that this bill is very relevant. First, Your Excellency, the structures for the, for the proposed university is already on ground. Okay, so what we only need is to equip the, 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 the university and to take off. The structure is very much on ground. Okay, secondly, Your Excellency, I want to state that that Nigerians still go outside Nigeria, outside, outside the country for medical attention means that there's still a gap as far as medical uh, 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 provision of medical facilities in Nigeria is concerned. It means there's still a gap. So we need some of these specialized institutions that, we, that will concentrate in key areas that drive some of our people to go out there to look for, I mean, for medical attention. Then thirdly, your Excellency, we've mentioned several times that there is a brain drain from Nigeria, especially with respect to medical uh, uh, personnel. Okay, this brain drain means that Nigeria is being depleted by the day. So we need to replace them as they are going out looking for, uh, for uh, uh, better sources of livelihood out there. We also need to replace them here. So, uh, Mr. President, I believe that this bill should go through the second reading. Thank you very much. What? My in-law, who tabled this very important uh, bill, I think that under your leadership, this house must be seen to be consistent, to be fair and just. That is reflected, Mr. President, in the prayers that you rehearse every morning, justice to one another. I think that given all that I know now, which all of us in this Senate, if we reflect on the bills we have passed, similar to this, there is no reason to deny the people of that part of Nigeria the location of this specialized institution. My very dear friend is worried about where the teachers, the experts, we come from. The law of economics is that where there is a demand, there will be a supply. Where there is no demand, there will be no supply. I think that even if we were to assume without conceding that we have too many institutions already, when it comes to health care and the management of human beings, health-wise, it will be better to err on the side of surplusage. Sir, for people of my generation, there was a time where Indians come to Nigeria to look for employment as doctors. And most Nigerians of my generation would prefer to be attended to by Nigeria doctors rather than Indian doctors. It is over time, and we're not getting our priorities right, that we now have a revised situation where the Indians have gone back, Nigerians are now going to India to see for medical intervention. I think the purpose of this in it, another your able visionary leadership, is to look at the future and not to be detained by the imperfections of the present or even the recent past. I believe that knowing the reality, I come from a do state, and I'm sure many people from Delta State. When people get involved in accidents along this road, they are not easy people from Kogi State. I think in terms of location and access, that institution is extremely necessary. I want to plead with my colleagues that let us be found to be too generous in supporting specialized institutions and appropriate funds for the training of men and women that will be required to run those institutions. I'm sure what there is demand, and of course, holistically, at another occasion, we might ask ourselves the question, why are we uh, lamenting over migration or brain drain? But by some analysis, sir, brain drain is not necessarily very negative. Because these guys repatriate money, and I read the books from the CBN telling us how many billions of dollars Nigerians are remitting home. If we can't produce industries, I will produce men and women who have brains that are marketable worldwide. I believe 
we should be proud just to do so. So under your leadership, I please, sir, that we support this bill. It is necessary. It will be helpful. It cannot be idle. But we must know that for every institution we have passed, when we are doing appropriation, we must factor in the fact that these institutions have been passed and they will need resources for effective take-up. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. And actually, um, the location of this uh, university does not matter because even if it's uh, far from uh, major towns, it will help the students to concentrate. Once they go there, they will be, they will be able to concentrate instead of jump getting up and down, and it will reduce the, uh, the rate of failures. So I, I, since there is nobody opposed to it, I will urge the clerk. Huh? Huh? Yes. Since, uh, nobody is opposed to it. So uh, those who are in support that I call on the clerk to read the bill for the second time, say aye. Those again say nay. The eyes have it. <laughs> Clerk of the Senate. Distinguished colleagues, a bill for an act to provide for the establishment of Federal University of Medicine and Medical Sciences, Egbe, in Kogi State, and to make comprehensive provisions for its due management and administration and for other matters related thereto. 2024. Second reading taken. Distinguished colleagues, a bill for an act to provide for the establishment of Federal University of Medicine and Medical Sciences, Egbe, Kogi State, and to make comprehensive provisions for its due management and administration and for other related matters, 2024. Second reading taken and now referred to the Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Telephone to report back to the Senate within four weeks.